Hi everybody. Um, I thought I'd make a quick video showing exactly how um, I line my mold so that some of you that have never done this before get an idea how to do it. It's, it's not hard. It requires just a little bit of patience. Um, but it's just simply, we're, we're going to be using this um, freezer paper. You can buy this at uh, Walmart or wherever. Um, large roll lasts a pretty good amount of time. Uh, the freezer paper is not reusable once you pour the soap in it and you peel it off the soap well you've seen my other video but again i thought i'd show you exactly what it is that um, i do to line my molds and to start with um, i'll take the freezer paper and run it so that it's about the same length of my mold like this and then i'm going to give it about four inches on both sides like that, a little more, and then I cut my paper. So, you can see, I got just enough the size overhang by about eh, that much, and there we go. So, once I've got that actually cut out, I'm going to slide this back, I'll take my uh, freezer paper and literally fold it in half because I want to get a nice crease right down the middle because that will allow me to center this over the mold and get a pretty good uh, get some pretty good accuracy with, with how to, to fold this so what we're going to do here is put our mold up open up our paper and you can see I got a really nice crease right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver this paper around so i got about the same amount of space on the end. And then, once I've done that, I'll try to find the edges and literally center this so it runs down the middle of my mold, just like that. So you can see it's pretty, pretty even on both sides. And once I've done that, I'll just take my finger I don't put a lot of pressure down but I put enough that I can crease the paper without cutting and I'll take it all the way to the inside of that mold just like that and then once I got the sides marked I'll come back and get the interior edges like that and now I'll lay this flat and I think you can see it and I'll lean it up a little bit I have the inside of my mold measured perfectly on my paper, just like this. It's hard to see with this light, but you'll get the idea. So the next thing I'm going to do is fold this on the crease in a nice straight line. You can see there it is. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've got two lines running here that actually mark the width of my mold. Next step, so take and do the same with the end pieces. Folding where the line is that I've marked. And I want you to notice these creases here, I like to line these up with the creases I made earlier so I know this is pretty straight. Well, actually pretty square is the word I'm going to use. I'm going to square this up. So we're going to do the same here on this side. Now, once I've got that done, I need to get some scissors, which I didn't bring in here with me. Give me just a second. And, okay, I've got scissors laid out here. What I'm going to do is cut this paper these two lot sides, I'm going to put them all the way in to the intersection of right here. And once I get this cut like this, I'll do the same on the other side, then I'm going to show you what I do with the ends. So let's get that done. So we take, sorry about the noise folks, it's someone walking by my front door. I've got a, um, uh, one of those, uh, phone video things, or excuse me, door 
alarm thing set up uh, so I can hear when people come to the house. Um, as you can see, I've cut right here to this intersection, right here, all the way up to where these lines intersect. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just cut along that line. Same here. I got that done. Now, what this means is, is when I fold this up, this will go inside the mold. You can see what's going on here. I've actually created a replica of the interior of my mold with this paper. But here's the thing. Here's the cool thing. I don't need this much on these sides. I really, what I need is about two inches at the most. So I just cut off these little wings. Just like that. Same with this side. Coming about two inches. They don't even have to be perfectly straight, to be honest with you. They just need to be able to fold under the major sides so that <coughs> the soap can't go anywhere. So all this part is done. One other thing I do like to do, because for my particular mold, these sides are a little too long. So I'll take about an inch to an inch and a half off of these sides as well. You don't have to do this. When you make your first uh, liner, you'll know whether you need to do this or not. But you'll be able to see how it fits in your mold. The reason I'm trimming this is that the length it's at, I won't be able to tape it really well to the mold without any problems. And, you know, I hate problems. So, We've got this. We'll bring our mold back in. Pull this down. What I like to do is hold the middle just like this. Pull this up with the sides in. And very quickly just insert it into the mold. And then I'll do the same with the other side. And these usually go right in. If you've, if you've creased them properly, they'll fit right in there. Sometimes you have to play a little bit, but you'll get it. And there we go. So, as you can see, I've got the beginning of a liner. Now, what you're going to do, literally, so I like to make sure it's all the way in. I come in here, and I just cut right down from the tip of the paper to right here. I'll let, this, let the scissor actually touch the wood. And when I do that, on both sides, they end up with the ability to fold these like I need. Now, I'll use this tape here. Let's see if I can get this in there better for you. This is a uh, painter's tape, and I need one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So I'll turn me up a long piece, turn that in half. Just like cooking, whenever you're making soap, you really want to have everything in place before you start. Unfortunately, I didn't this time. But you want to have everything in place so it's easy for you to get to. So what I like to do is push down here in the corners first and just fold this piece down. I like that. Give it a small crease just because it's going to help me with one hand tape this down. So I do that and tape that edge down. Done. I'm going to do the same with this side. Come back here, pull that down, little crease, and tape it. That's done. Now, holding this down. Let's do this side first. Yeah, freezer paper likes to fight. It hasn't won the battle yet. Alright, so I got this done. 
the crease here, then I'll fold it. From here, tape it there, and here, tape it here. And I'm gonna do the same on this side here. Just pulling these down, making sure the paper's all the way down in the mold. Last piece of tape. And there you have it. You have a mold that's fully lined, ready to take soap. There's no reason for it to leak, and you're good to go. Now, I've had a lot of success doing it with this way. There may be some other methods out there. Go online and look. But this should work well with um, <clears throat> basically uh, any mold that you have to line. So, <clears throat> again, this is how I line my molds, and I hope this was informative.